uh, in support of Gaza right now, holding up signs. And I want to bring greetings from all the women who have been on the flotilla. Uh, they are just arriving home now, really, as I stand here, they're coming home. Uh, we will hear stories from them very shortly about how they were treated after they were kidnapped in international water, apprehended against their will, and their, their boat towed to Ashdod, where they had no intention of going. They were 36 nautical miles from Gaza. There was a big party developing on the shore of Gaza. Women, children, families uh, were waiting in tents, waving flags. They had balloons. They were waiting for all of the women to arrive. And as uh, we unfortunately could have predicted, we were intercepted in international waters. This is a crime against humanity. Uh, I'm very excited to have been a part of this initiative and to have met many of the women who were on those boats. Uh, these are strong, brave women who are surrounded by other strong women in their own countries who will be receiving them. And in the days to come, it's our job not to let this story die. It's our job to make sure that we continue to tell the story of what's happening in Gaza. I don't think it was, a, it was an accident that at the very moment that the Zaytuna was being boarded, also there were bombs coming down in Gaza. There were bombs coming down and innocent people were killed. So we need to uh, keep in mind how powerful the Israeli propaganda machine is and how they like to spin this story. So when you hear, when you hear that the, the boats were peacefully boarded, I want you, if you're talking at your, uh, where you work, or you're talking to your friends and neighbors, you say, what's peaceful about being boarded against your will in international waters and forced to change your course? What is peaceful about that? Piracy. It is piracy. It's piracy on high waters and it's against international law. So I think it's very important that we continue to tell the story as it is. And please uh, watch for, for stories as they come out uh, on the Women's Boat to Gaza website because we, this is not over. We still have a boat that's ready to sail anytime we feel like we want to put it in the water. So sisters unite. Sisters and brothers unite because this was a success story. We have made international news. I was on Malaysian TV. <laughs> I had to find Malaysia on a map to make sure I knew where I was talking. So even though we're not getting the uh, attention that we should be in Canada and the U.S., we are getting it uh, around the world, and it's very important that we keep up the struggle. So thanks, dudes, for being here. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Woo!